Girls, and I'm here with a freaking video. So, as you can tell by the title, today is going to be a mini try-on haul. Um, I say mini because I only have four brands, but some of them I have two items, some of them I have more. Um, some of them I never bought anything from before, so I'm a little nervous. But we're going to see how this goes. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, leave a comment, and turn that notification on. First, I'm going to start off with Rue 21. Um, Rue 21, I went in store and brought items. Um, so there's a few items in here. Nothing too major, but I'm going to start off with this bathing suit. Honestly, their bathing suits are on sale right now, so I had to buy this. Um, I got it in a medium because the large looked huge. Honestly, the medium looks a little big to me, but um, we're going to try it on and see how this goes because the large looked too big and the small looked way too small. All right, so this is what it's looking like. Um, Honestly, I don't know how I feel about this. It seems like it's a little small like in here, but the large looks so big. So like, I don't know. This is what the back looks like. It's just like a little crisscross with a tie situation. Um, I don't know, it's cute. It has padding in here, so I might take that out. It doesn't seem like it's too tight to where like it's uncomfortable, but I just don't, I don't know. <laughs> now that it's on, like, I don't know if you can tell, but it's, see, now that I see it like up close, I like it. Makes my boobs look nice. <laughs> um, so yeah, I like it. It's not bad. The next um, item I have is these little biker shirts. These are just gray, regular cotton biker shirts. I got these in um, black as well. The black is a size small, but they didn't have these in a small, so I got them in a medium. And then with these, I'm gonna try on this shirt. I got this um, NBA young boy shirt. This is a men's medium, so I wanted to fit like oversized it's just a regular cotton graffiti so i'm gonna put these two together so that i have a full outfit to show you and let's see how that goes this is the shirt of the biker shirts um like i said i did get these in black as well but i got these are in medium i got the black ones in a small um the smalls were a little tight but not like Oh my god i can't get them on tight but they were like a little bit tighter than this these are like a little bit big right here like a little loose but i don't mind the way they fit they're not too short but they're also not too long um they're really comfortable and they actually like don't look too bad with this shirt and the shirt fits like how i wanted it to it's large well, it's a medium, but it fits like a large and the sleeves aren't too long. Cause usually when I get like bigger sizes for t-shirts, the sleeves are like all the way down here. <laughs> so I'm happy that they're not that long. This is actually like really cute, this whole outfit. All right, so then I have this other graphic tee from Rue 21 still. This is also a men's medium. So I know it's gonna fit the same way, but it's just a Tony Montana um graphic tee and it's just pictures of him and it says the world is yours it's just a cute little i really don't have a lot of white shirts so i was happy that i was able to get white um so this is exciting <laughs> for me so yeah let me try this on and see how it looks all right so this is that one um it fits the same way it's like a little big but it's not huge i actually like this with these biker shirts as well so um i'm not complaining about this at all the reason why i don't have the gray biker shirts i just want to because i feel like the i meant not the guy the black i feel like the black biker shirts would look cuter with this because of the picture but the black ones um had a hole in them like right here so um i'm gonna have my mom sew them 
so that's why they're not in the video but they fit the same way as these gray ones and i think that the gray ones match with this shirt as well so i'm not complaining about it but this fits the same way that the other shirt did so and it's really cute i like how this is on the side so 10 out of 10 this is cute all right so the last item that i have for rue 21 is just this little white shirt um it's a ribbed regular like white t-shirt and it says cute and psycho in red so i'm gonna try this one i feel like this one might be a little bit see-through so i'm a little nervous about that but other than that i thought that this was so cute so i hope i like the way it fits <laughs> this is that shirt um i like this it is a little tight so as you can tell like i don't have a bra on most of the time i don't wear a bra with stuff like this because i don't wear a bra usually if i don't have to but um so yeah <laughs> um i'm trying to think like it's not see-through to where like you can tell the color of my nipple but you can see like the print very very vividly um but other than that like i think this is cute and it says cute and psycho right there um but yeah i think that this is cute so let me take this off and then we'll get into the next brand because that's it for Route 21. Next I'm going to get into H&M. Um, the bag is a little ripped, but I did go in store for these items. Um, I only went in to H&M just to check to see if there was anything. I don't usually shop at H&M for myself. I go to H&M for my kids. Um, sometimes I get their joggers because that's probably the only place I get joggers from other than Primark. But I stopped in just to check and surprisingly their clearance section was huge and I was just looking and I found two items that I'm really obsessed with. Like I think they're so cute so I hope that they fit nicely. Um, I don't have much of these so all I got was two sweatshirts. One is a regular sweatshirt, one is a sweatshirt dress. So I'm hoping that they fit nice. Um, I'll start out with this one because it's at the top. This is just a regular sweatshirt. I got this for $9. So, not too bad. It's kind of oversized and it just says New York City. I rolled up the sleeves so I hope that they fit like that. But it just says New York City. This is the sweatshirt. Um, This is a size medium. It's actually like really big but that's kind of how I would like it to fit. I was buying it in a medium thinking that it was going to fit normal but now that I have it on I don't mind at all that it's oversized. I think that this is really cute. Um, if I unroll the sleeves <laughs> it's kind of big. Um, for the most part like when I'm outside I always do this with my hands so it wouldn't bother me to have it like that and even like this this is what the sleeves look like but I just thought that it was cuter with the sleeves rolled up even if I roll it once. It's cute, but I like the look of the inside of the sweatshirt. So I think that this is super cute. <laughs> um, I'm not complaining about this at all. I think this is cute. And I can unroll the sleeves or roll them. And then the back is just plain. So this is cute. The next item that I have, this is also a medium and it's $7.99. It was $7.99. Um, this is a sweatshirt dress. It looks big, but um, I originally had it in a small and I brought it home and I was looking at it and I was like, this looks, no, I had it in an extra small and I brought it home and I was like, if, now that I have it, like now that I was actually like holding it up without the hanger, it looked kind of small, like in the arm area. So I tried it on and it was, so small <laughs> in the arm area like when i would lift my arms they would come like halfway up my arm and i was like yeah we gotta take it back you guys i <laughs> i don't know how i feel about this at all because it's the length that i like which is fine but like it's so big around the bottom and when i had the extra small I guess because it was smaller, it was tighter around the bottom, which is what I like. I hate when, I hate like flowy dresses for whatever reason, like it's just not something I like because it doesn't 
fit around the inner. It just looks weird in the back and it looks weird in the front. To me, this looks like a nightgown, which is very disappointing. Um, the next company is Pretty Little Thing. I've never shot that Pretty Little Thing. I wanted to for so long, um, but I just never, I've always found their items cheaper somewhere else, um, or I just didn't really need it, so I was like, you know what, I'll just wait, but everything that I got was on sale, and I was like, why not, so we're gonna get right into it. Um, I'm kind of just like really disappointed about this packaging because there's literally like holes everywhere, like I don't even need scissors for this. So I'm disappointed about that, but let's see. Um, I also got like accessories for this one. So like I can just pull everything right out, which is really annoying and disappointing. This is just my receipt. Yeah. I didn't get much from here either, so we'll see i'm gonna start off with the like even these are open because of the pack because of the outdoor packaging okay um i can already feel the material and i'm kind of disappointed because i thought that it was like the regular cotton material but it's more of like i don't know if you can tell let me see you can't really tell, but it's like a really rough, it's a, it's more of a thicker material and I thought it was regular cotton. So, honestly, I am so disappointed. Um, this is a 10 and it feels like it's so tight. This is a 10, but it feels like it's super tight and I feel like I definitely have to suck in. I'm very disappointed about the material. Um, I'm so, I kind of feel embarrassed about the size because I know that I'm not a 10 and the 10 is so small. Like I feel like I really, really squeezed myself into here. Um, I'm trying to see, yeah, this is a size 10, but, um, I got it for five dollars so i'm not really complaining but like it's kind of uncomfortable up here and i feel like i really have to suck in in order for it to work which makes me feel even more uncomfortable so next outfit is this white dress it's strapless and it's white this is the right material this is the material that i thought this was going to be in so hopefully it fits better hopefully the bottom fits tight because it doesn't look like it's going to this is the dress um, I have on these underwear and I feel like you can still see them. I feel like, um, because it's so see-through, like, I have to tuck in. I am a mom of two, so I have a little stomach, but literally, like, barely anything. And I still feel like I have to suck in because it shows everything. It even shows, like, my tattoos and my stretch marks. Um, it's, I don't know if you can tell, but it's long, but like, it's not the loose that I thought it was going to be. Like, it's not that bad. I mean, it looks cute from the side. <laughs> okay, so the next one is a dress as well. I only got three dresses from them and then just accessories. So, um, and by the way, if you hear any noise in the background, my brother's room is right atop of mine and he's playing on the game and I have a whole big family so it's honestly just that <laughs> I don't it's cute it is so cute and I really like it but I feel like I cannot like I can't walk I'm actually just disappointed <laughs> all together because of the sizing the white one fit well as far as size but like for this to be a 10 and for it to be so small as well as the red one i feel so disappointed because 
what size is next? A 12. Like, I feel like at this point, I'm just not gonna order from her anymore, <laughs> which is disappointing. The next two items I'm very excited about because if you know me, you know that I am obsessed with hoops. Now, um, usually I wear huge hoops, like 120 millimeters. Um, I did get 120 millimeters. This is 120, but... <laughs> I got 150 millimeters, which is the biggest hoop I've ever owned, and I've actually never owned it before today. Um, I always wear, I, I mean, I wear medium sized hoops as well, but um, this is 120, so I usually wear 120, and then I also wear 140, but I never went up to 150, so this is huge. <laughs> I did not realize how big 150s were, but we're going to see how they fit. I always get, um, like, hoops from little shops like Sheen and uh, Rue 21 and stuff because I lose them all the time. Like, I can't tell you how many pairs of hoops I've owned that I've lost. These feel really thin, though like thinner than the ones that I usually have but oh my gosh so cute like I am obsessed and I, my brothers hate that I wear hoops um my dad hates it like everyone hates it but like are you kidding me how cute 120 and 150 though like are you kidding me I didn't realize and these feel, I wish that the 120s felt like this because these feel so much more like, they, they feel heavy, obviously, but they feel like they're more secure and the 120s feel so thin. So that kind of makes me nervous that they're going to fall out easier. Holy crap. I feel like I'm never going to wear this just because like they're so big. Like, holy crap. I don't know though, they're kind of cute. Hold on, like I feel like it looks ridiculous because of how big they are. And people tell me about my 120s all the time. Like, this is huge. The next company is Sheen. This packaging is so much better. I do see girls get the cute little Sheen, um, like the black Sheen bag or the or the box I think but I just got a plain white one let's see all right this is the first item um this is a top my best friend bought this top and it looks so cute on her and I found it on Sheen this is the shirt like how cute um this is like not it's spaghetti strap but it's like the really like the round thin one and then the back doesn't have the cutout like the front, but I like that just the front has it. Um, I think that this is super cute. The material is not cotton. It's like a shiny soft material, um, but that helps with my nipple print. So I don't have to wear a bra with this because the straps, you can't really wear one unless you wear a strapless one, but like how cute. All right, so this is a sheer black dress. I brought this as a cover up for my um, bikinis. Um, this is a medium. So because I opened this, I didn't realize what it was when I opened it. Because I opened this, I'm gonna jump into my bathing suits. How freaking cute is this? Like, this is so cute. This is like stiffer than I thought. It's a wire bottom, so. I knew it was going to be stiff, but like, holy crap, this is stiff. And then it just has the little bottoms. I feel like this is going to be super cheeky. This is the neon um, bikini. I feel like I could have went one size up. Honestly, because of how small it's supposed to fit, I think that you should go a size up. Um, but other than that, 
I actually like really like this. I don't mind my boobs sitting like that. I'm just scared that they're gonna actually pop out. I'm a model who does photo shoots and swimsuits, so I'm not uncomfortable to come on here and have a little bit showing. But if you feel like you would be uncomfortable, then I wouldn't get this because it does show a lot. This is the black dress. Um, I'm actually disappointed because I thought that this was going to be so much more sheer. I mean, I guess up close, you can see that it's sheer. You can see the color a little bit more, but still, like, you can't really see the color, like, that well, which is kind of disappointing. This is just, I've seen that everyone was wearing these um, tops. So we're going to try it and see how it fits. I'm kind of really nervous about it because it looks cute on everyone else, but I don't feel like it's going to look the same on me. And then this is just a regular tie-up bottom, which I never wear. I am obsessed with this top. I like it so I can keep it like this. I like how the cleavage is. Um, I like that it's strapless so your tan lines aren't right here. Or like me and my sunburn lines. Um, the bottoms make me feel really uncomfortable. I don't know how I feel about it. So yeah. This is a tie-dye one, but it's blue, purple, and pink, which is really freaking cute. This is regular bottoms, not tie-up bottoms. So I'm excited about this. And then this is just a regular triangle tie-up top. So let's see how this looks and I'll be right back. This one I feel comfortable enough in to like actually wear. <laughs> um, it's not too revealing. It's simple but so cute. And now that I took the padding out of this, it feels better. This is a romper, but it's like the regular cotton one piece romper. Okay, I had to turn on my lights because I was using natural lighting, but it started to get dark. So this is the black one piece um this feels a little tight but nothing like major um this is the side view this is the back it's just strapless and it is short so that's always better um i'm not gonna lie when i was holding this up the short part looks so short and i was really scared that it was going to be shorter than what i wanted it to be but this is super cute and i'm really excited about this so super cute this is also a size medium like see how short they the shorts look they're once you put it on it's actually like this long so let's see i'm gonna try this one on this is a medium yep this is a medium just wanted to confirm okay so this is the gray one um this for some reason was so much easier to put on than the black one it didn't feel it doesn't feel as tight as the black one this is um the orange shirt that I tried on earlier, but in black. Okay, y'all, so this is the black one. It fits just like the orange one. This one is also a medium, just like the orange. So it's obviously gonna fit the same. So this is a bodysuit. So I have to see like what I can put this on with, probably like denim shorts, but it's a strapless bodysuit but the back is all strappy so this is the bodysuit honestly from the front it looks like a regular black tube top i put it on with a skirt because i feel like i would actually wear this outfit out um this is the side view this is the other side view um this is the back so um i'm actually obsessed with the back yeah, I'm obsessed with this, and I was really excited about it, so I'm happy that I love it. So, yeah. And this is a medium as well. So, that's it for this video. Um, I'm going to put everything in the description below as far as pricing and what the item is called so that you can go and get it yourself. Um, I'm probably not ordering from Pretty Little Thing again because it was super ridiculous as far as sizing, and I'm really disappointed um but i hope you like this video 
go like subscribe leave a comment follow me on instagram do what you like um i'll make sure to leave everything in the description and i hope you like this video see you next time